Okay, we have a Muslim. He's trying to call us. Let us see. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes, my friend. You are live on air. You are a Muslim, right? I am, yes. All right. What do you like to say to us? Did you see the title of the topic? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, let me see. Muhammad uh, was a law illiterate. Yes, is he illiterate or is not? Um, first of all, Allah is God, right? So are we I judging know, whether he can read? It's not about reading. I see my, the word illiterate, by the way. You Muslims, you have it wrong. The word illiterate is about illiterate about knowledge, not illiterate about writing and reading, because I can be a person who knows, you can be a person who knows more than me, but you don't know how to write, how to read. And I, will, I can make it simple for you. If, I am, if you are a person who was born in America, and you did not go to school, I assure you still you can speak better than English than me, and I am the one who went to school, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, so Sorry? illiteracy have many uh, side and many ways, but the Quran never said that Muhammad is illiterate is a person who did not know how to write, how to read. There's a single verse saying that? Uh, no, there doesn't have to be a verse saying that. I mean, it's no, just actually, sort there of is. There is. actual. But it doesn't say he did not know how to write, how to read. It says he is Ummi, which means from the Gomai, which means people who do not know the book. If you go to the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 78, it says, and there among them, illiterates, who know, right. not, who know not the book. So the Quran gives you definition that the one who do not know the book of God, they are illiterate. This is not about writing and reading. So, so like, I hear what you're saying, but how does this help? How does this even question help? A human being decide whether or not like whether okay. the quran or the the okay. bible is a source of truth I, don't know what's your please, name. I, I let you talk but let me please what? talk so yeah, what's your, as what's human beings name? what's your name what I would aj 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 okay yes so let, let me just make my point real quick so the questions you ask here hmm. I guess as an audience listening and as humans just going about our lives, we all just want to know like, what is the truth? What is the message? What is the way of life that we should live? And so you have this debate about, you know, Quran, the Torah, the Bible, or Hinduism, or all these religions out there. What, why do we even need a religion? And I guess the topics that we're discussing here, it's does it get to the point of sort of like analyzing or breaking these things down? And, you know, that's where like I want to ask, what is your, like with your topic here, was Allah illiterate? I'm not sure like why that question is important to us. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, illiteracy here for me is about ignorance. So if God is ignorant, that means he is not God. Do I agree? Uh, yeah, I agree. All right. So, is it an ignorance act to say that the sun uh, uh, set uh, in a murky water? No, wait, wait. Okay, so you made a good point. If something is ignorant, I mean, if something is, uh, you know, doesn't make sense, then no, no, God not is... No, no, about makes sense. No, I'm not saying about makes sense. Don't take my... Okay. You know, let me repeat again. I'm not okay. saying it doesn't make sense because I, I will tell you something. Uh... uh, uh Jesus is born of a virgin. Scientifically, that does not make sense. Correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. But we believe that God is capable of everything. Nothing is impossible with God, right? Uh, correct. Yeah. Okay. No. So it makes sense for the one who believes. It doesn't make sense for the one who's an atheist. Do you agree? All right. Yeah. So this is not really our topic. What we are t talking about here, that this God, either he know or he do not know. So when I claim that I know, and then I turn to be that I do not know, that's mean I am not God. But but if that's the logic you're saying, then we wouldn't be Christians, you know, Judaism. We wouldn't believe any of that because it doesn't make sense. So no, 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 how see, is no, like, no, 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 no. You see, when 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 your God here uh, speak about what is uh, it is like easy uh, thing to to discover it's true or not. As an example, uh, was the sperm. The one yeah, I actually baby. have Did yeah studied that Did... scientifically, yeah. and the you know it doesn't say sperm itself. It the the verse is about the fluids and what makes up the fluids that are ejaculated. No, no. no, no. Well, that I mean. Okay, hold on. Like, okay, a fluid. Okay. That fluid is what is the sperm, right? It consists of that, but not no. a, a very small no, percentage no. No, of read, it. Read carefully with me. If you go to the Quran, you will see. That the 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 a nutfa a nutfa is the semen, 
is a, is a mm -hmm. millions of semen, and this human stem translation says a sperm. It turned to be to a congealed dead, dead blood. How in the world this is from God? This is not about metaphorical or anything. It's no, but doesn't it say doesn't it say gushing water? Because that the translation isn't exactly like the sperm. You are talking about as a entity. You, are, you are talking about different verse now. I'm talking about chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen. The sperm transform okay. into a congealed blood. But all of us we are we know that congealed blood is dead blood. It's a clot. Even your translation is saying so. The Muslim trying to avoid that, they say it's a clinking thing. But nowhere in the Quran it says a clinking thing. Alaha is the dead blood. When when you injured yourself, you have a little piece of blood, dry blood, cover your skin. As well, are we talking about sperm or blood? I'm confused. It is, a, it is a sperm. According to the Quran, the sperm will become a dead blood, and then the dead blood became a lot. Where does it? Where is it? Twenty three. Anyway, I I think like twenty three fourteen. Twenty three fourteen. Uh, 20, 20, 20. I mean, I mean, yeah, I thought we were speak. talking about the the chapter where it says the clot. Uh, okay, so then we made sperm drop into clinging clot. So you have that on your screen? There's no clinging clot. Know? This is a, this is a fa fa fabricated fabricated uh, translation. There's no way. Where is the word the clinking? It says Allah. No, no. I mean, when we're talking about translation, right? It's very difficult because okay, Arabic. Do you, speak Arabic? Is... do you speak Arabic? I don't. No, okay. I don't. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. See, it says Allah. You can go to the dictionary and you will see the dictionary. It's Allah. Is that their blood? This is why the translation here says. But isn't blood? Blood is from clot. It's a clotting red blood cells, right? That clots. Yeah, but it's dead. The clot is a dead blood. This is the clot. The, the blood became a clot when it died. It's dead. You know. So there is there is a. Uh, when it's lose the life, and then that blood will have a, a like let's say a material will make it solid, so it can stop the bleeding. This is the purpose of it. But if that happened inside the, the your your uh, uh, your uh, uh, inside your body, okay. that can cause heart attack. But usually the clot is very helpful when you have a cut in your hand or your foot. Your body repair itself by making a clot to stop the bleeding. It's like a bandage. It is. So when was this written? This, I mean, this verse was like sort of in. You know, we could say like you know, AD what six six hundred or whatever it was, right? It so it's at this not, time. Okay. But what matters is that this was revealed at a time where people had no idea of what science was, okay. right? So that should we reveal yeah. something stupid at the time of no science? To make it more stupid? No, but I mean, this is obviously you have to agree that this is uh, a revelation that's very like deep that people did not know about, and so how 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 is that deep? What is what are you talking about? Everybody well, knows. I'll tell you the deepest. I'll tell you the deepest thing okay, in the you know Quran I want, I want that really. This with you. Yeah. Can you show me something? For, forget. I don't want to choose for me for you. But yeah. The Quran. Can you show me one thing in the Quran can confirm to us that this is a book from God? Oh, one thing that could confirm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you know, like, uh, first of all, like a lot of it is based on sort of you know the feeling, right? Like, why would Christians say that? Like, why do Christians believe that the Bible is true? Well, mm -hmm. they just have they put emotions to it. They you know read it and it makes them feel better, so they believe it's true. So the Muslims, you know, feel the same way and. One thing about Islam that I know personally is during Ramadan, we feel that the the Iblis or the devil is chained at that time, meaning the devil does not influence us as much. The voices are kind of gone. Hmm. During normal, during non-Ramadan times, we know that the devil exists because sometimes we hear those voices say, you know, do something this, do something wrong, uh, steal that money that's sitting on the table. But then we don't act on it hmm. if we're, you know, if we want to believe. So those are the reasons why sort of, I think that that month, that Ramadan confirms that this is true from the word of God because why in that month is it such a feeling that I don't get any other months and it's not me it's billions of people and that's only but anyway so you're talking about your questions about the no, no, verse no, no, stop, stop, I would please, say stop. Let me what made me believe Ramadan. let me comment about okay. Ramadan according to Muslims countries and I can show, show, show you right now in the screen that in Ramadan the crimes increase in a horrible way and the Muslim they claim that the reason that Ramadan is to have more crimes than other months is because people are fasting and they start, they lose their nerve and they start beating each other or attack each other or even use knives. And what but I've, I've, I've used, I've practiced Ramadan without fasting before too. So okay. it's, you know, it, it's still, 
it, it's very difficult to explain. But here, let me tell you what I My believe. Friend, it is you like, who mentioned Ramadan to me that Ramadan is approved. So if Satan is a, is a, is a chain in Ramadan, so why there's a crimes in Ramadan? Who is the one well, crime? that that's because the people decide to go ahead and do it. That's well, up shaitan, to everybody's free will. Shaitan is a chain. Is shaitan is a chain, right? Well, the shaitan is okay, so meaning is chain, one, meaning who is the one that means the people. The people do it. The people, right? Okay, so now we blame the people. We don't blame the shaitan no more. So shaitan no, no, no. Shaitan. In the end, no, CP. In the end, we are accountable for what we do. That we can't blame the devil for doing something. You what the do. devil does is encourages people okay. to do something wrong. I mean, it's it's in every okay, like in other religions too. You made a good point. So when a human being he commits sin, uh, uh, is he doing the sin or it is the the evil one making him do sin? It's, it has to, it starts with someone, you know, the, the devil or shaitan, a voice that says, do wrong. And even though we don't intentionally okay. want to do harm, we make the mistake. So it's let two us, things. Let's right? make it simple. The first one who did wrong, who is the mm -hmm. one who made him do wrong, shaitan or Allah? Wait, wait, why you, Allah is just the creator of the shaitan and, and I, the creator I'm of asking a question, being, you can right? answer me, my friend. Who is the first one who taught Adam to do wrong, shaitan or Allah? Well, I think it's a, like a, when you mean who taught yes, to who do wrong, the, it's the, the shaitan. Okay. The shaitan put the voice to go against what okay. is right, All right. which means so, that's a sin. My right? friend, you just said, everybody heard you, uh, shaitan is the one who did that. Why you are you saying shaitan? What if it's Allah? Well, I mean, how, like, what if it's a ghost? I mean, why would you say, what if it's Allah? That doesn't make sense, man. doesn't make Let's sense. Let's be real. Exactly. Yeah, okay. like, what, like, how would you say, what if? What if it's this? What if it's that? Oh. That's, you can't just keep saying, what no, no, if? I'm not saying what if. I have a proof. Just wait, my friend. Just, I'm having a conversation. Okay. In the Quran, sure. chapter 20, it says that shaitan is the one who whispered into Adam. Do you agree with that? Yeah, just like it whispers into us. Okay. Right? Yeah. Like people, go, yes. If we go to your prophet, we will find that the one who made Adam commit sin, it was Allah. There we go. According to your prophet, Adam, he was just a victim of Allah's plan. So shaitan, awesome. he was whispering because Allah ordered shaitan to whisper to Adam. Read for me, I will put it for you. Of course, no, it's true. Allah is the one that created. If if God, the creator, didn't want the sh the, the shaitan to exist, it wouldn't exist, but it's here for a this reason. That's question, my friends. Focus with me. The question is, who is the one who made, who made Adam commit sin? Is it shaitan or Allah? You said to me shaitan, correct? It's no, it's the shaitan put the voice and Adam was the one that committed the sin. But this is another question. Focus with me. Is it uh, focus? I want you to focus with me with two things. I am, but uh, but shaitan? Adam, does he is have shaitan free will? or Allah? Who is the one who made Adam do the sin? Focus with me, please. Don't put Adam in the middle now. But can is you explain Allah, what it... made? What okay. do you mean by made the person? No, How does he make? For, he forced him to do it. He what forces? He forced him to do it. Who forced Adam to do sin? Shaitan or Allah? So, okay, look, if I make a sin, let's forget about Adam. If I make a sin, who forces me to make the sin? Allah. Really? Name for me a God. sin of your choice. Name for me a sin. But what is Allah God, is, right? Is you have to agree. Is Allah means is God. Is it's is the same word. My friend, okay, is, 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 is AJ, is, a, is adultery is a sin? Uh, yes, it's a okay. sin according to who? Okay, according, according to, you, to, according to your religion, suppose. Yeah, right? according to Islam okay. and the Christianity, right? Okay, listen. To all religions. No problem. No, in Islam, actually, yeah. adultery is for, uh, is halal. We wish, we can show you that. But let us go now for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Who is the one? Do you choose to do adultery or Allah force you to do adultery? I make the choice. Okay. Read for me the hadith in the screen then. Uh, okay. So Allah's messenger uh, about the punishment of the grave. He said, yes, there is punishment in the grave. No, 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 you, you are reading, uh, in, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. You refresh was, your okay. page, you will find, okay. okay. All I see is punishment in the grave at the beginning, is that it? No, it's still, oh, there you, go. you have it okay, there, delay. You. there you go, okay. So, man will indulge in which, in which he of necessity read must come. Read, read from the beginning, please. Oh, read yeah, there's a, there's a oh. lag. Yeah. Verily Allah, okay. Mm -hmm. Has fixed the very portion of adultery which it, man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit the adultery of the eye is the lustful look and the adultery of the tongue is the yeah you know, licentious speech 
the heart desires and yearns, which the parts may or may not put into effect. Okay, so I read this as, you know, we could indulge in that. And, you know, we this could. is English. This is Arabic to English. So each My little friend, word. This is not an excuse. I speak Arabic very well. Inna Allah kataba ala ibn Adam kataba ala. He, he, he wrote his fate to ibn Adam that hazzahu min az zina. So it is Allah who wrote the fate of Adam, how much zina, which means adultery, fornication, he will do. And then he continue all kind of fornica fornication he will do, which is of necessity. Yeah, there are women. people that do it, I agree. Okay, no problem. There are but but Allah is the one who forced you. I asked you, who is the one who chose to do adultery? Where does it you? say Allah forces you? It says, I think it's it like... Says, it says, my friend, it's a fixed, very portion of adultery. Allah has fixed, fixed, fixed. It's not you who can change it. It's Allah who have fixed to you how much adultery you will do. It's already ordered. It's already... Yes, I, I, I think that, like, we're... T I mean, first of all, how does this help us? How does this... First of all, we have to agree that adultery is a sin. We do agree that, right? Not, With not Christianity here. Not, not anymore, because if Allah is the one who forced me to commit sin, how in the world this is my sin? So then you mean, like, we could just do it? I'm you not mean saying just go that. ahead. I'm not saying. I'm discussing that the idea. Focus with me, please. If Allah is the one who is forcing me to do adultery, and I have no choice of but, it. But uh, do we have free will? Do we have free will? No, CP? you don't have a free will in Islam. You don't. This is like the whole. We talk. do. Okay. Like, whether. Okay. Let's say tomorrow okay, I become a Christian. Let us go back. So all of a sudden no, I don't. No, have no, free no. Will? no, no, no. Wait, a, see, I am a person believing in free will, my friend. Don't debate me about this. So we're debating. But then how? By me talking about. Muslim to, we are talking okay. about your religion, not about. But CP, CP. Regardless of what religion I am, okay. we all have free will. We agree no, on that. No. So how can you say no, that? You how can you make a claim? If you have a religion, it's called Islam. You don't have a free will. Are you a Muslim or you're not? I am, and there okay. is free will in Islam. Okay, CP, come on, read for come me. on, CP. Read there for is me. free let's will. Back, let us go back to Adam. Did Adam choose to commit sin, or Adam he was forced to commit sin? Was it a free will to commit sin? To it Allah? was his free will. Yes, it has always okay. been like read, that. Okay, you're read, just your prophet, okay, read your prophet's story. Here we go. Go read in front of you. Let me let it. It's lagging a little. It's a sneezing. Oh no. No. There was an argument between Adam and Moses, you see it? But we're, we're look, what are we reading here? Is this the Quran or is this Hadith? No, this is uh, your prophet words. We have to respect your prophet words, don't we? Yeah, the Hadith, okay. right? We're, we're okay. respecting, but we need to jump. We need to first establish basis of no, like the basis, what... the basis is not your teaching. There's context teaching. of... The hadith, is of is no, hadith is very difficult. No, Hadith is very, very difficult, my friend. It's not up to you. It's not up to you, not up to me. <sighs> your prophet is the prophet, not you, not me, correct? Well, okay, so, so let's agree on something. We agree there's free will. Right, then no. all humans have free will. So whether Islam. we're Muslims not, not or not, Islam. not according to Islam. That's not true, my okay. friend. I'm then telling you, as a Muslim, you have free will. Then read what your prophet said. It doesn't matter what this no, says. There is free will says, because you are saying something against what your prophet said. But this, let's go to the Quran on whether there's free will or not. Okay, I mean, let's go to the Quran. We can go to the Quran. Here we this go. Is the very Quran. Deep. No, this is the very Quran deep. says the same that everything is, you know, it, it is, it was a destiny. We will go. Even bad things happen to you. It was decision made by Allah. Here okay, okay. What, whatever we're talking about, CP, which we've jumped subjects and you stuff. You are the but one who is jumping subjects. It's me and you. No, no, I am. Yeah, I am. Okay. I am. But I want so, to make a point before, while I jump the subjects before I get deeper is regardless of what the subjects are, we could debate about every topic in the world. But the true question of, you know, listeners and human beings walking on earth is, what is you know what are we comparing and why are we you are and trying okay to is escape. the is the quran you are, trying, the source you are trying to escape the topic which we started and we need to finish we, i don't allow okay, that. okay so then you asked me so, this question so, way back was so, how is the so quran the source truth? what is true in the quran you, look what happened my friend i don't want to hang up on you i don't want to believe to you but obviously you, you you are trying to run away from your prophecy if you're a prophet say that adam did not commit sin it was allah who forced him to commit sin and then you say to me who care so what kind of a Muslim you are? So You're right, CP. I'm sorry. I care. And here's what I want to care about more is I want to talk about, you asked me the original question, what in the Quran prophecies were true. We we could go, we could debate this all day, but let's talk about the revelations about the Pharaoh, the kings of the Egypt, the Egyptian times, those revelations, and even the mummies that were preserved, mm -hmm. the great Pharaoh Ramses II was preserved, and that was a mm -hmm. prophecy mm -hmm. that was created in the body. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, because you're from the area, mm -hmm. that Egypt was buried those times when the Quran mm -hmm. was revealed. How mm -hmm. come, 
how hmm. did that get revealed and how did it come to light you know in the 1880s when the mummy was found how mm. come it wasn't found all those th that thousand something years mm. you know how yeah the 1200 years mm. please explain that if the My quran friend, is not you, true why did it prophesize Jaina, that Jaina just said who, which means the body was not buried so you just did beat your quran because according to them this is discovery of a, of a body which is buried but according to Quran, the body never buried and it was always exposed. So this is a stupid statement of the Quran. Secondly, wait, wait, it was always Quran, exposed. It was it was inside of a inside of a buried like uh, according you know, to in, Quran, the, in the tomb. According to Quran, the body was not buried. No, no, not buried. Yes, it wasn't buried. It was preserved. Okay, right? no, no, it says. But it was under, it was buried my under friend, sand friend, and excavators. The body, the body to... of the Pharaoh not preserved by Allah. Those people, they make mummy. And the mummy simply, they take the, the they take what is inside the body and they add their own liquid to preserve it. So it's not Allah who preserved that mummy you are talking about. Is it Allah who made the surgery for the guy to take his belly and his stomach off? No, no, no. It wasn't. Okay. I'm not claiming so, that. So this is what you say. This is what you say. Secondly, your God is an ignorant God. He said, so your God, he thinks that Pharaoh, his name is Pharaoh, but this is not his name. If we type the word Al in the Quran, we will find many verses in the Quran speaking about Al, Al, Al Musa's. If we ask you what Al Musa's mean, you will there is say... One, there is one, uh, there is one Pharaoh for that. No, no, there's many Pharaohs. That is, a, that is an ignorant statement, my friend. There's many Pharaohs. Pharaoh is a title of the king at that time. Any king, he became that's not true. he became the king. Yes, yes, yes. There's yes. a king. Yes. There's a king, king and there's pharaoh. Any king, any there's king, one pharaoh. Any king, any king, you can go and search right now in Google. You will find any king. I have. Oh, I have done. No, you did not. You are reading Muslim articles. They are funny. So he says, Ali Faraun, the family of the of Pharaoh is he's a person for for Muhammad. His name is Pharaoh. Ali Musas, there's a person. His name is Musas. Al Ibrahim, there's a person, his name is Ibrahim. So, Al Yaqub, Al Israel. So, all of them, those are Al, 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 which means Al is a word we add before the name of an individual. Al Yaqub. So, you're a prophet, he claimed that Pharaoh is a name of the king when this is not a name. Okay. I mean, so. Al <laughs> Lut. Alu Lut, Alu Musa, Alu Ibrahim, Alu Yaqub, Alu Faraun, Alu Dawood. Yeah. Alu Dawood. See, the so Al Pharaoh was the only the title. Al the Pharaoh was the only no, title, title given to. It's not a title. Al Dawood. Dawood is not a your title. Your own, your own people on the chat says it's a title. The, so the Pharaoh is a title. I, I don't know. The Pharaoh is a title, but in the Quran, it's a name. <laughs> In the Quran, the silly one who wrote the Quran, he think that the Pharaoh is the name of the person. So, Alu Dawood, Dawood is not a title, is the name of a person. His name is Dawood, correct? So, when we say Alu Dawood, we are saying the family of David. You can read the translation, chapter 34, verse number 13. When we say Alu Musas, Alu Lut, this is the family of Lut. Lut is a person. His name is Lut. Alu Yaqub. The family of Jacob. This is a person. His name is Jacob. So Al is a is a word is added before an, an individual name. So when the Quran says Al Faraun, the Quran claiming that Pharaoh, his name is Pharaoh, and that is a very big error. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, like. The thing is, give you, okay, it's so all in the Rosetta Stone. You know, this, it's one, all that, this one did not work for you. Give me something else just to show I, you that Allah is ignorant. No, no, look, I'm not trying to win anything here. It's like, about winning. you know, I, I listen we to what you a, say. We are having a nice conversation, me and you. Yeah, we and are. We so, are. But okay. like the evidence is not just from me. This is you can we can debate this and we can have a civilized conversation. You just seem to put everything down and you seem I to just like I see words. It, I down with the proof. I'm not making a speech. I just but showed where, you there's no proof here. You took I five, said, well, I, two minutes I, on I proof. Is a word you add before an individual name. Read with me the Quran. I'm showing you verses one after one. And you say to me, there's no proof. Here we go. 
CP, how are your audience? How is your audience agreeing with? How does your audience? CP, please respectfully, I listen to you. Just please listen. My audience, please, me and you are talking. No, but your audience is the one just following you and chatting, and they don't really understand that every time you bring the Arabic word, not one of your audience members knows Arabic. You don't know Arabic too. I know I don't either, but I'm not okay. claiming to know it. So I'm not you, claiming. So how you follow a book? It have to be in Arabic, and you do not know Arabic. Do you pray to Allah in English? Because there are Arabic? scholars. There are real scholars that are out are there that explain. Okay. I, I wanna, I wanna this do something. Stuff. I have an offer for you. Can you call a sheikh right now who speak Arabic to talk to me, and you just join us? I wish I could, but I don't know everyone's yeah. schedule. Can you schedule a shake? Uh, you home. know, that's what I would I, love, CP. I, I really respect you. I respect that you have a lot of followers, but I would love to see you debate someone that's a scholarly Muslim. I've never seen that, never. and I really want that because I am on the fence of whether I should be Christian or Muslim, and I need someone, I need the Christians to stand up and defend their Bible, and I need them to refute the Quran without calling names without putting it down but show evidence against and i don't see that on youtube i also don't see uh most ex i don't see any new reverts from you know atheism to christianity that even can explain just like the reverts that muslims are there are millions of reverts on most on youtube that defend Islam and can defend it, feel good about it, and know what they're talking about. And there are many scholars and there are debaters, the people at EF Dawa, okay. they are really if defending you, Islam. Watch, Let me you, finish, CP, please. In EF Dawa, they are defending, they're who, defending who, Islam. Who, 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 and they're doing a good job, but who, I don't hear who, you who, 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 defending who, the Bible. No, I don't. The name, the name. Who, who is the person who defends Islam? There are so many. There's no, EF the Dawa. Did, did you say Ali Dawa? Okay, there's, uh, there's a good one in San Diego. Uh, do you know who I'm talking yeah, this about? This guy is an idiot. This guy, he said that your prophet, he never been Abrahamic. He said your prophet was always pagan. He said he is not from Abrahamic faith. What's his name? What's his name? Sheikh. Oh, oh, uh, this guy, what he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he will never dare to debate me. But he, he sounds but, really but, true. Okay, let's see, let true. see if he sounds true. He said that, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Maria. Yeah. He, he said, Maria, the prophet, he honored her, he freed her, and then he married her. And then if we check Islamic books, we will find that he never freed her, he never honored her, and he never married her. He is a scam. Who? This guy, Who Sheikh Osman, he said that. And then he said that Muhammad, is he was not from the Abrahamic faith, and that destroyed all of Islam. So the guy, the guy you call him good is an idiot. And no, 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 but, but okay, like, what, if, hold on, why, hold on, why, why don't okay. call him right now? Why don't call him right now? Let him between with me. You will see he's a chicken. This guy don't. But you would have you would have thousands me. of viewers. It doesn't matter you, how many thousands. You, you must you must support any idiot. I can I can prove it to you easy. Here we go. He just said Muhammad is not from the Abrahamic faith, so he was for forty years a pagan worshiping Blackstone. How you accept an insult to your prophet? I, I'm not me, saying he's me, right in your palm. I'm not me, saying me, that me, he's me, right. Hijab is making fun of your prophet about suckle him. Go and see how many videos he made about suckling for breastfeeding for adults. This is the verse from the Quran. And not only that, he denied that Allah has... But how does this has... help me? CP, I, I listen to you. I listen how to you. But how does this help me? How does this help me in my life? mention them, not me. So the question will go to you. How does helping you mentioning those idiots to help you? It's not but me who... CP, are, it's CP, not me who if I brought... Them. But CP, if, if I said what you said about every... Uh, Christian or Jew or any other religion or even Muslim. We have a proof of what they uh, say. Finish, we have a proof of what they say. It's in the video. So they said your prophet never was Abrahamic and he is Mr. not of the Abrahamic Mr. faith. CP, please, so, please so let I, me finish my point. If I if I did th what you just did about putting people down for one thing they did and ruin the whole religion for that, I don't then care, every friend, then the Christian I'm religion. Putting, I'm not putting <sighs> people down. It is you who mentioned that they are the one who do good work defending Islam. It's you who mentioned their names. So now I'm getting you. I don't want to say get you busted. I'm saying I'm getting them busted because no, they no, are I... not making good defense. Muslims are leaving Islam, and you say there's a million people they left Islam. According to Al Jazeera TV, sixteen thousand Muslims leave Islam a day, not a year. Even even Mimi Hijab, after his debate with David Wood, he made a video asking for donations. Says, guys, do you know that 176,000 left Islam last year? Do you know that we are but the only one who can but, defend Islam? So you are talking to me something, and they are saying something. Look, no, they're like, leavers. CP, there are people leaving all faiths. There are people joining a lot of faiths. I agree. But I guess ago, when, I, when it comes ago, to... A second ago, before you call me, a person from Germany, he called and he left Islam and he became a Christian. But CP, listen, we I'm talking about me. I'm I'm telling you like 
Okay, of let's course, go back. I'm let's open. Go back to I'm open-minded. Let's, let's go back to zero. What is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? The proof is that there are, you know, there's these accounts that have, what's their, where's their proof that Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet? I Where? don't need to prove there, it to you because you are a Muslim. See, I don't need to prove it to you. That, no, you're, you're telling not, me no, that, but you want me to prove it to you. Because you are a Muslim and already you believe that Jesus is a prophet. So it's a hypocrisy to say to me, what is the proof? Look like we are killing just because of the because do of believe, most... Do you believe that Jesus is a prophet or not? I do, yes. So why I you believe asking me to prove it? Well, why are you asking me to prove that Muhammad is because a prophet? I don't believe in it. This is the difference. I don't believe he's a prophet. I believe he's a scam. So I'm asking you, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? Go ahead. So, the okay, so every, almost so, like, I, I can't say 100% because you don't know anything, we don't know, but based on the sort of the practices of life and what was taught, mm -hmm. has a lot of value to billions like and billions and billions of like people. What? Number like, one, like what, like what, yeah. like mm -hmm. okay, so many, many teachings about how to act as a person, okay. mm -hmm. many teaches of, yeah, many teachings of how to cleanse okay, yourself. Let you. uh, let's see how we yes. act. Your prophet, he went to his own son's house when the wife was alone, and he flirted with her, and he said to her, Subhanallah, may Allah praise the one who flipped my heart for you. Is that the act of a decent man or a perverted man? What do you think if your father come to your house, and he flirt with your wife, and she is your wife, not divorced, not separated, she is your wife? What do you think? I... I think that that's such a detailed account of something that, you know, if that is true, if that is true, then that isn't right, okay, right? If you that heard the one a second ago, you said to me, his but I behavior. didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't say everything is 100% true in that so idea. That, we don't that know. Make him a prophet for you, a person, he go to the house of a married woman and she is married to his own son and he flirt with her. Yeah, I mean, flirting is not right. Is flirting, uh, is flirting something that Islam teaches? You tell me. I don't know. I'm asking you. It's this, not. It, this that's is, why this is a prophet. This is a prophet. Remember, this I is know, but but this hear me out. You. Hear me out, please. Hmm. It's not. So why? So that that hadith may contradict what is actually the right thing to do. No, so this is not even hadith. Are not you, see, even... you see, even the Quran says that Allah He told Muhammad, "Why you hide what Allah told you? What? Why you hide what is in your heart? His heart to what? He's ask. He's encouraging the man to have a lust for a married woman." Okay, so you're okay. These are small things. Do this you think that I think things. about no? But CP, things. CP, in my life, if, oh, no. if CP, wait, now, let me talk. If the, if the Muslim now discover, you. if the Muslim now discover that the Christian prince is a, is a, is, a, is a flirting with his own son, wife, this is a small thing for the Muslim. But CP, video, CP, they wait. They will make a video about me everywhere. They will say. But does this help? Does is. this they tomorrow? If when I wake up. So now you are being a hypocrite. What kind of God? No, no, CP, CP, when yeah. I, I'm, I want to make this point. Whatever point you're trying to make that's like very provocative discussion here, I just want to say this. Today, after I leave this call, am I going to for once think about these small little things about uh, the religion? I, I focus on the large picture. What is the, the large, large picture? picture is, the, large the large picture, picture is this. The large picture is that you can do muta. The large picture is you can attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. The large picture is that there's a God, he promised you endless penis. What kind of a prophet he promised that? The large picture <laughs> see, those are, those are things to make fun of the people not, that are listening. Not, uh, you see, it, it is. It is, CP. It's the average I'm making human. fun. I'm making fun. So you agree it is stupid, correct? CP, what I'm saying is I, God, I agree. Yeah, God, I agree. What we're talking okay, about what is, is the stupid. Purpose? Yes. What is the purpose of God that promising you women with big boobs? But CP, this is not something that's on the mind of a human being right now. It's not. So only what, maybe you, this but is we're not. not in we're the not. mind of a human being. It is the mind. This of, is it not is in the right mind, now in the mind. It is the of mind people. of God. A God. He uh, promised you women with big boobs. CP, the average person, the average person doesn't care about this stuff. The average person cares Prove about it. what Prove do I do in my it. life? Prove it. It's true. Prove it. And Prove what do I do when I die? What's going to happen when I die? If the See, average person don't care for big boobs, so why Allah being not being less than average person? These are topics that are very provocative. Like people love to hear about this. Lesson to, but this is not important question. to me. If your God Allah is not an idiot. He is not an ignorant. He is not illiterate. What kind of a promise? Promising you and you are claiming to be educated and you are smart and you are not. The average person don't care about this. You said that already. So why God? His God. He is not lowest than average person. This is for a person. This is something you say for somebody when I masturbate. 
for somebody getting horny, for somebody thinking about women just little to have sex. But this but is God, you, and this God saying to you, so. if you if you are a person who want to believe me, look, I'm going to give you big boobs. But this is not like you think it's funny talking about boobs and horny and all that. I don't find that anything interesting you are because it does the question by saying things not have nothing to do with the topic. Thing. Do you think it's funny? You tell me. You tell me. Is it funny? Or I not? think. I tell you what I think. If you let me let me answer, uh, CP. I think that respectfully, it's not the most important debate about life right now. I keep what asking people you, are going. I keep asking you, <sighs> what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? And you bring me a point. I get you busted, and then you change the topic. What is the right proof away? that God so, exists, CP? So you tell I'm me. What's the proof that I'm God exists? You, what I'm is, asking what you. is the purpose of Islam? The purpose? Oh, that's a very good question. I'm okay. glad you're asking. Go ahead. That, okay. The purpose of Islam is that it's a way of life and that it has like what? many like what you go to your house the like house of your son and you flirt with her uh, no we're not thinking about that no, I, I was thinking... are you saying to me that muhammad was not living the life of islam you're you're sidetracking the conversation you asked me what the purpose is can you i get say, into that yes you say that islam is the way of life muhammad he is the most the first muslim see what, what are we battling what is the average My person friend, take like care, take care you are just here just to argue but there's no point of speaking to you it's just a waste of time what you say to me islam is the way of life and then we find that muhammad he go to the wife of his own son and he flirt with her that is the way of life in islam this is why no Muslim trust a Muslim to enter his house. No Muslim even trust his father to get along with his wife. Because they have the best man. He was a cheater. He was a fraud. The best man was a child molester. He go after a six years old girl. So when you say to me Islam is the way of life, I see Islam is the way of death. If Muhammad himself cannot keep up with the way you, you keep it, you, you claim it is good. If Islam is the way of life, how come Muhammad is a very perverted person? And each time I show you something, you change the topic in a speed of light. What does this have to do with this? What this will prove to you? What this would he is the one who mentioned them. We got them busted and then he changed the topic. How Islam is the way of life? Is it way of life if I divorce my wife, she have to screw somebody else? So in order to come back to me? Is that a way of life? So the guy, he divorced his wife, and then she cannot come back to him, unless she go and sleep with a different person? This is a way of life, or this is a way of effing life? This is not only abuse for women. She have no guilt. Her husband divorced her. She want to go back to her children's. How in the world this is a way of life? Is it a way of life to have sex with the children? Is it a way of life to beat your wife? Islam is wonderful as long as it's just a speech. The second you question the speech, Islam collapse. Who is a Muslim, he can call me and he can bring me something strong. All of you, including your prophet, are very weak. And the names he mentioned to me, they were never there to, to, to call me and they were never there to let me call them. Your prophet, he used to piss in the road. Is that a way of life? Grabbing your penis in front of a children's and women passing by? You're a prophet, he chased men, asking them, who will you marry? Did you marry a widow or you marry a baby child? Your prophet is tempting men to be perverted, to go after children's, not to marry a woman, growing women. Is it a way of life that if we kill some Christian and Jews and Hindus and Buddhists and atheists, we go to heaven? Muslims here leave Islam by tens of thousands, not one, not two, not three. 
My videos translated to all languages in the world. Same my books. So you have no idea how huge the impact is. One man work. Why? Because this man, he will not say anything except the truth. He will never compromise. Even your stupid Quran says that Allah, he took what shaitan he threw in the Quran. Have you ever heard of a God make such a statement that he will take off from his Quran the satanic verses? How that work for you? We have a prophet who is protected by God. But then shaitan, he threw in his mouth satanic verses. And don't worry, Allah will take it off. How we know that even this verse is not made by shaitan? The one who was able to put satanic verses first time, he can add this word to make you relax. So Muhammad, when he got busted by people around him, that he is a satanic man. Muhammad, he could not deny it. He could not deny that he was receiving verses from shaitan. So what he said, oh Allah told me he will take it off, don't worry. But ask yourself a very simple question. This is God, and this is his prophet, and this is the book of God, and the book of God is protected. Yet the book of God, according to the Quran, was penetrated by Satan. According to the God of Muslims, Shaitan, he put satanic verses. And this is why the verse says, Allah will take it away. This is religion. And then we find out later that Muhammad, he received not only revelation from Shaitan, even Muhammad, he received command from shaitan and this is why we see muhammad is a stupid look at the, look at the way of life okay don't uh, you know don't uh, sneeze sneeze please because allah loves those who sneeze and don't yawn because if you yawn shaitan will jump in your mouth this way of life so now every muslim here is worried about shaitan you know doing things when he is uh, yawning shaitan you're making your ears shaitan asleep in your nose shaitan round himself around your penis if you don't say the prayer shaitan he fought this is the way of life this time is a superstition, stupid cult. There's no way God will say such a stupid thing. Who is the one who told Muhammad that Allah loved those who sneeze? Who is the one who told Muhammad that Allah he hate those who yawn? Who is the one who told Muhammad that shaitan jump inside your mouth and he love from inside your mouth? Is that from God? Or this is illiterate God talking like Muhammad? Imagine if Jesus is standing in Jerusalem saying, Don't yawn for shaitan, jump in your mouth. This is God teaching? What about shaitan taking hair from your anus when you pray? And he will never stop until you fart. What about shaitan doing your wife with you because you forgot to say a certain prayer? Allahumma jannibna shaitana wa jannib shaitana marazaktana. Based on this, Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan because his father did not say that prayer. So when they come to you and they give claims of Islam, how amazing. This is a claim can work with the, with the fool. A person who is not educated. And we are here to kill foolishness, not to kill Muslims. We are here, we don't hate the Muslims. We are here to kill the foolishness of the Muslims and non-Muslims. And here we go, I'm here challenging every single Muslim to call and prove me wrong. As you see, they keep running from corner to corner to corner. They don't want to talk about it. We show him that his prophet says it clearly that destiny is Islam. Even the sin you commit for fornication, it is Allah decision. Even Adam, he commit no sin. Allah forced him to do sin. It was a plan. How that can be God? 
how that can be religion how that even can fix families when you say beat your wife and then they will say to you beat her lightly what a big fat lie secondly are you beating her as a punishment or tickling her they say to you we beat her by the miswak but the miswak is a long route it's not the small thing they show you today because it became expensive it became a commercial uh, 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 product miswak is a tree roots and branches they are long very flexible they beat the camel with it a woman she came to muhammad and her husband he did beat her until her skin became a greener muhammad he took the side of the man against the women which he did beat because she refused to sleep with him Muhammad encouraged rape he taught her if you think that you can go to your previous husband you need to know that you cannot go back to your previous husband unless this guy if you and not only that he said to her unless he tastes your orgasm and you taste his orgasm what kind of a prophet this prophet is? The women, she don't want the guy. A woman, she don't want me. Why? I want to force her to sleep with me. It's an insult to the man to force a woman to sleep with him because if this woman, she don't want you and you force her, that mean you are a stupid, you are a donkey, and this is how bad you are to the point she don't want you. And then what Muhammad he do? He make a verse says, الرجال قوامون على النساء women, Men are charging women, so beat them. You will see in the story here, the women she showed Aisha a green spot in her skin from the beating. The Muslims tried to cover it. They say it was the habit of the ladies to support each other. Look how bad the ladies. So when Allah Messenger came, Aisha, she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Why? You just told us this is the way of life. Why women are suffering in the time of Muhammad? Muslim women. A believing woman. So did Islam bring a solution or suffering for families and women? Obviously, suffering. And the one who witnessed for it is firsthand the wife of Muhammad. I never saw. I never saw, I have not seen any women suffering as much as believing women. This is the way of life. And what kind of family I'm going to create if I beat my wife? How much she will hate me inside her heart? How evil it is, just because you are a male, you take advantage of the one weaker than you in strength. A person who is noble, he will do the opposite. He protect the weak. He don't defeat them. A man who have honor, he will not beat a woman. He will protect a woman. And if he don't like her, divorce her. In Islam, divorce is so easy. It's just one word. Not to forget to mention that Muhammad is a thief. Muhammad is a rapist. Muhammad, he attacked the neighbors just to take their goats and their women. He said, let us attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls. Again, we offer a challenge for any Abdul to call us and prove us wrong. Your God cannot even repeat the same story in the Quran twice. You can go and take any story about any person, you will see that this God, he cannot repeat the same story twice in the Quran. Forget about the Hadith. This God even don't remember which one he created first, the mountains or the stars. In one chapter, it is the stars. In the other chapters, it is the mountains and the earth. Here, my friend, Islam is defeated with no mercy, for we use evidence, you use speeches and fabrication. If I go right now and see scientific miracles in the Quran, people will die laughing. 
Quran have scientific miracles? If we go and see a Muslim website speaking about proves that Muhammad is a messenger, you read your love. The first proof that Muhammad is a messenger, he cannot read and write. Can you believe it? This is a proof that Muhammad is a prophet? The proof that my prophet is a prophet that he is an idiot? The proof that Muhammad is a prophet, he did not want to become a prophet since when? How is that? Muhammad don't want to become prophet. Don't make me a prophet, please. Don't make me a prophet. What are you talking about? Muhammad don't want to be a prophet. I mean, look at the reasoning they are giving us to believe in Muhammad. Muhammad endangered his own life? Look at this. If you endanger your own life, you are a prophet. Well, he's attacking the neighbors to steal their goods and their grocery, and that make him a prophet, endangering his life. Muhammad revelation will witness. Muslims, who is the one can tell us how the revelation were witnessed? Did any of you see Muhammad receiving revelation from the angel Jibreel? It was witnessed by who? Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven in the top of a flying donkey. Even Aisha, she said he was next to me as his buddy. Muhammad, he had a clearer path to power by bloodshed. Muhammad, he came in a perfect time where the Roman, they were destroyed and the Persian destroyed, fighting each other for 300 years. So nobody stopped him. Do we have any Muslim? Exactly. Uh, uh, what his name? What are you, what you looking at? If you go in the Quran, we mentioned this yesterday, right? The Quran in chapter two, verse number six says that those who they are opposing Muhammad, they will never believe in Islam, and later all of them became Muslims. What kind of a prophet his prophecies turned to be false in his lifetime? Not a century after. You warn them, you don't warn them, they will not believe. Speaking about who? The people of Quraysh. Why they will not believe? Because the devil Allah, he closed their heart their eyes, their hearing. But later, all of them, they believe. And they became Muslims, and they became Caliphate. Abu Sufyan and his family, Muhammad, he bribed them, and he gave them money, they converted to Islam. And then they became the Caliphate. But Muhammad, he says, they will not believe. His God told him they won't believe. They will never believe. Was God ignorant when he said that statement? He lost hope? Do we have any Muslim here? My friend, we don't want to say that you are a waste of time, AJ, but you notice, you can, you can watch the video again when we finish. You will see you are jumping from place to a place. You know what, I'm going to give you one more call to give you opportunity to prove to us it's time from God. Is that fair, guys? But you promise me, not each time I show you that, you say to me, what this will do to you? That will do to me, I'm showing you proofs. When I show you that your prophet, he make it clear that Adam commits sin, not by his choice, it was Allah who forced him to commit sin. When I show you that your adultery, even your adultery, is not a choice you made. So you don't tell me what that would do to you. That would do a lot, because that would destroy all the idea of this God. 
because we go to hell why because we are disobeying God we go to heaven why because we disobey God and then we find that we are none of us disobeying God it was a destiny all right yes AG go ahead thank you again uh, and I want to say to all of your audience like I'm not here I'm here genuinely to figure out not figure out right now, but I just need to understand sort of like, I've been watching a lot of videos on, you know, the Muslims and how they debate uh, the Christians like Bart Ehrman, all of these scholars. And I want to see you, Christian Prince, as a scholar. I don't want to see you as one that just puts everything down and starts making claims that are just really irrelevant. The average person and please hear me out for another few seconds, is the average person in life doesn't care about those little things right now. What we want to think about is what is our purpose? What is the value system that we have? What in history is out there as evidence to believe something? And when you bring these little things like boobs and all these words that are just that that rouse people up, and I feel like your audience, they have good hearts, but they just love hearing you know, these types of conversations that just make fun of everything. And I want you to realize it's not, about, this is real. This is not about making fun of things, calling people potatoes, this and that. It's very bad to be disrespectful. And that shows the characters of Christians that are doing this, if y'all are Christians. It's not right to call people that. If you're going to convert, you know, Muslims to Christians, you need to have the utmost respect and, you know, need to really, really be sincere about it. And so, uh, are you uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Why your Quran call us najis? Yeah. As long I as don't know what najis means. Long, really? As long it is not good to call people potatoes. So potato for you is an insult. Calling us filthy, disgusting filthy is okay. No, no, but this is not true, CP, because back true. in the day, it no, but back in it the day, true. you know, if you're from that area, Middle East, you know that the they coexist. All religions have coexisted. The Muslims went to That's Spain. Another question. Don't change the topic. You see, this what you're I know, but we're talking you're about the one who said to me, why you call people potatoes? So potatoes for you is an insult. If I call you now filthy, is that okay? Well, if what I do you mean, you, is it okay? Is that you, funny? It's not okay to call okay, anybody is filthy. Is it okay to call you a donkey? No, it's not okay so to call a person call a donkey. Why the Quran call us donkeys? But that that's not like, where does it say that? Show me go. that. Here we go. You're going to the Hadiths, okay. right? No, this is Quran, chapter 62, verse number 5. Okay. Do you, okay. Can I ask you another question about? Don't change the uh, so topic. I'm, don't change the topic. So which I'm not, one is better uh, this, for you to call you a potato or to call you a donkey? It's it's not good to call any name. But anyway, is it I want to ask. Okay. What about I say to you, go and buy the penis of your father? Oh my God! I, like. CP, this is not. Uh, let's let's forget about the name no, calling right now. No, I want to forget. You are the one who opened the topic. When you're a prophet, he says, "Tell him to go and buy." Yeah, oh, let's talk about this. One. Okay, the is... similitude of those who were charged with why the obligation. A, why, okay, listen. You see how you contradict yourself in two seconds. You say to me, "I said to you, I will give you opportunity to prove me wrong." You call me and you open a door of hell on your prophet. What kind of a prophet? A person don't agree with him. Just he is a prophet about his parents. You say to him, "Go and buy the penis of your father." What kind of prophet he is? Okay, so do you want me to answer this question about the donkey foot and what I feel? But I'm not a scholar at any... No, answer like, about I, I'm not, the penis. Like, it's, it's, it's more harmful. I don't... You're, we're talking about the donkey or the penis? Which one? Both they have penis anyway. <laughs> See, that's the thing. The religion is super important for people to realize now what the so purpose of their life is. To the point, if a person, he is proud about his parents, you say to him, go and buy the penis of your father. What that have to do with this? Why he cannot be proud about his parents? And what kind of a prophet says to him? Say to him, don't do that. Say to him, this is not right. Why you say to him, go and buy the penis of your father? What that will do to Muhammad? I don't know what that will do to me either. So I, I don't okay. understand that. And I don't, that's you, not the focus of my mind right me, now. You said to me, Islam is a way of life. Did your prophet used to beat Muslims and he insult them and he said the F word to them? I mean, like 
these are things. What about the good things? Are you mentioning just the bad? A second ago, you were telling me that you Christian prince, you insult people, you say that to them potato. I want you to speak like a scholar. Now we have a prophet. He say the most stupid, ignorant, filthy things ever. He even beat Muslims. He whipped their back and he cursed them and he said the F word to them. And then he claimed that this is a blessing from Allah for them. Do you want me to give you some blessing like Muhammad? I know, but can we just can we just, can we uh, not talk about like the the bad part of Islam? Because you Islam. Who mentioned that to me. You, you see, AJ, you are the one who called me. You are the one who mentioned the topic. The second we got you busted with it, you want to change it. That forget about it. It's you who mentioned that. So what 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 you do? You mention something and then you want to retreat right away because this Christian prince is like a gun machine. He have tons of evidence. The second I say to him anything, even if I speak about microwave, he will give me a hadith. By the way, give me one thing. Just say to me anything. I will give you something horrible about your private. Just say, go ahead. One thing what about? Anything. That's good. Imagine something. You, you, I cannot find something bad about Muhammad in something. Give me. Go ahead. Try. I would like to ask you if you, if you find any positive thing about uh, Islam or even Christianity. What is good about? I just, I'm over here as a... I'm over here trying to on the fence of whether Islam is true or Christianity is true, and you keep telling me about you know the things that are these verses that just make no sense at all and have no like they just don't have any bearings of what is on my mind right now. The question is about God. It's about whether there's one God or multiple gods, and there's about you know it's also is the Bible true itself? Okay, how many okay let's say the Quran's not how true. How many gods just, you have? How many gods? I'll give you, you the benefit of that. How the Quran's how many, not true. How many gods you have? In Islam, there is one God, a Creator. All right. So how the Quran says, if Allah would like to have a wife or a girlfriend, He will take her, He will take her from us. Allah will marry a woman or will sleep with a woman of a girlfriend from us. Who is us? Uh, I mean. Okay, so like when you ask me this question, I, I have no idea that it this even exists, friend, and I'm I don't even. You, I'm showing you the verse, chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen. Go ahead. Chapter twenty-one. Verse let me try 17. to see. Okay. So twenty-one, verse seventeen. Yeah. Let me just find that. So the question is, let's see. Do you have it on your screen? I can read it. Yes, I have it. Okay, here it is. On your side. Hmm. Okay, so we had we intended to take pastime, we could surely have taken it if we were going to do that. So what? What I think this says is, I mean, like the IE part, wife or son. I think what it's saying is that if we wanted to create a son of God. Mm -hmm. then we would have done that ah, like god could okay. do that does it right? say the word to create there or it says if we want to take oh if we intended to take okay take, you know words of create. english are okay. very english take, is very like take it says take it we will take it from us do you see taking it from us yeah are you reading the clear quran is that the one that what you're using uh, the clear quran is the english who care about translation for me i speak arabic it's arabic in my language لو أردنا أن نتخذ له ونتخذناه من لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. Who cares about the translation? I'm showing translation because you are a person who do not know how to read Arabic. No, this is Surah 17. You said 21, verse number oh, 17. Sorry. Okay, sorry. The prophets. Okay, seven. Uh, chapter seven. Okay. If we so, I, the clear Quran says, if we wanted amusement, we could have found it within us. Mm. Is this? I'm in chapter, I mean, I'm in Surah 21, the prophets, An Anvia, mm. right? Okay. Okay, I will and go with it, you. Guys, the clear Quran is better. We'll go. The clear, it's, it's, it's yeah, called, let's go to the clear it's Quran. It's called the clear Quran. Like, come on, it's called the clear Quran. Okay, clear Quran. It says, <laughs> it says from right. us. Okay, from us. Who's us? Do you have that up? Because I don't see it yet. No, I don't know if they have this clear Quran. I don't know. It's called the clear Quran. Who is the translator? Do you know? Are you able to pull that up? They so say, I don't know if I can find such a thing clear Quran. Yeah. Well, I'm in chapter 21. I mean, uh, Surah 21, verse 7. Okay. Who is the translator? Do you know? I don't see clear Quran here. Uh, so you, you just have to go to clearquran.com. Oh, uh, clearquran.com? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Th that's the more, like, sort of English yeah. new version of, like, what I, like, how my language Oh, okay. Anyway, my friend, does it say us? 
I, I'm, let me verify which one we're talking about. Chapter 21, oh my verse God, I have 7. The verse for you, my Sorry. Person. Sorry, it's hard because I have a huge audience and it's nerve-wracking to get in front of people. You've done this many, many years, so you're very good at it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see it yet. Here we go. This is your clear Quran. I will put it on the screen. It says, within us. Who is us? How we, uh, if we wanted amusement, <laughs> amusement, we could have found it within us, correct? Uh, yeah, if we wanted amusement. So see how different this is than what you have on your screen? The because, other? because Muslims, they lie. Thank you very much for mentioning I know, but, but CP, thank you, you for saying claim no. that they, thank you for no, saying CP, you know. I said you can claim they lie. Know. Okay. There are Christians, there are Muslims that lie. I agree with well, that. This is a but, translation. This translation is, is adopted by Muslims in their website. So why it is in their website if it's not true? No, no. The, okay, so let's focus on this one because we're on the same page. The one that you have, I have no idea. Why is it so different than this? No clear problem. Front? Now go with the one you have. Okay. Forget about Okay, if we wanted amusement, we could have found it. No! Do so. so I think it's saying like... I mean, we'd have to kind of read up, you know, like, mm. we'd have to read up. This is all in context. Mm. Okay, go cool context, go ahead. I Let's like start from the beginning, I guess. Uh, okay, can you kind of, okay. yeah, can you kind of, uh, yeah. share when you're sharing your screen, kind of pull back text that's very deep. Uh, you can read uh, from your side, because this is uh, the problem with this website. They have it, the text is like, uh, when I zoom out, to have it all is going to be small. Okay, so it's... One. I mean, it's to read all of it would take a long time. So. I find it's you who say, let us read from the beginning. Okay, open from your side in your phone. I'll read it from your side. Give me a break. So, but I can't share my screen it, with the we audience. Found it without, we do not need I'm sharing the screen here. We found okay. it within us. Who is us? Uh, well, uh, on your screen, I can only see like uh, half of the text. Oh, there you go. Friend, it okay. is you there you go. Okay, okay. yeah, you're right. You're right. Look, I'm sorry. Look, look, there, look, there, there. That's better. No, Much no, better. no, no, wait. It is you who did read the verse in front of you, which I did not open yet in that translation. So how come now you cannot see it no more? It is you who opened it. Okay, okay. Me. I see it. I see it. I see it. CP, I see it. Okay, they said woe to us. We were unfair. Who is they? Are they talking about? Does it say if we wanted? We. Who is we? I think it meant uh, the Lord. God. The Lord is we. Allah. Allah. How, how many Lord do you have? No, like if we, Allah says, Allah did not create the sky and earth. And what is between them for amusement. That's true, right? It's not for amusement. There's a purpose. And so, how is this? I, the question is, how is this compared to the one that you were showing everyone? The text is totally different. Like completely. So what I would do now, what we would do. You see, you don't want to talk about the one you choose. You don't want to talk about the other one you choose. And now you're, Well, let's you're, talk about this one. Okay, what is your claim about this? Because I don't have a claim. It says that Allah will find a partner within us. The amusement here is the word lahu, which means... No, we... it, it says... No, it says we did not create the sky and earth and what is between them for amusement. So we wanted amusement. I mean, so God is saying if that God was trying to amuse it, us, it would have been there, but we have a purpose. This is a false translation because simply Allah says we did not create the heaven and the sky plain, not amusement. So here the first amusement is a fraud. But if you say that the English translation of the clear Quran is a is a false uh, translation, well, your then, translation is a false, including the other one. I'm sure. But then the Quran becomes like a mute point, so it I becomes don't irrelevant. Care. I don't so care. I'll, for I'll, me, I'll, I am showing no, no, Arabic. CP. You can copy. It. I'm, I'm, listen, but my CP, I will ignore the Quran. Listen, you can copy the sentence as it is, and you post it in Google Translation. Why don't now listen. we go to the Bible? Says, Why don't we go to the says, Bible? Now? Okay, take care. Take care. Let's. <laughs> what a sneaky guy. Now the problem is translation. Both translation, obviously, they are fraud. And this is my problem now. And our God is one. This is one of the most stupid things Muslims they keep repeating. Who care even if your God is one or half one? Who care if your God is a million or a billion? The question is, what kind of God? He is one or two or three or four, but yet he is a stupid. What kind of God do you want to take a girlfriend from us? What kind of God he keeps saying we? If 
philosophy is not we. They say to you that this is a choice of language because he is majestic. So Allah don't feel good if he say I. Allah, he used the Arabic word. To fix his lonely, his loneliness, his suffering. So he convinced himself that we are we. So Allah is lying to Allah. If you are not we, why you say we? What this fake we will do? This is a fake we. And what kind of God he needed letters in language to make him majestic? He is not majestic already? The fact that CP has a PS translation. <clears throat> Guys, look what AJ he just said, just to show you. The fact that CP has a BS translation, the clear Quran was vetted by millions of people. Is it true? It is true. See you all. I will never convert cause of what you CP said. You eat it. It's you who refused the other one and this one. And now you are saying that other one. Secondly, if we go to the one you call the clear Quran, if it is agreed by millions of Muslims, why even the Muslim here did not even list it? Nobody listed. Here we go. This is your official Islamic website where we can find the clear Quran. Show it to me. I will put it in the screen. In the same time, clear Quran. Let us go with the clear. <coughs> let us go with the clear Quran. Don't go, AJ. So we can laugh. <coughs> All right. We will go with the clear Quran. Read with me the clear Quran and love how clear it is. I will show it to you in the other translation, which is your choice. Chapter 34, verse number 14. Chapter 34, verse number 14. Let us go to the clear Quran and let us see how clear it is. And then you will see how stupid your Quran is. I never, I never opened this book before. I mean, this translation before. But let's go there. 34 the clear Quran okay verse number 14 are you ready are you sincerely ready okay and when we decree the death for him nothing indicates his death to them except the earthworm eating his staff then when he fell down it became clear to the spirit that he had they known the unseen Spirit. The genie is a spirit. This is against Islam. It says in Arabic, al jinn. The jinn are not a spirit. So the clear Quran is made by an idiot. Secondly, according to your translation, this person, Solomon, he died and nobody noticed as he's dead. According to interpretation, he died for a year. He's dead standing. And slowly, slowly, the termites are eating his staff. And nobody noticed. According to your translation, even the spirit did not notice. Look, the spirit are watching the termite. His spirit, do you see the termite eating? You know? The guy is dead for a year, and the spirit did not notice that this guy is dead. He don't go to the bathroom. He don't talk to his wives. You talk to him, he don't answer. He don't eat, he don't drink, he don't sit for a year. And the spirit did not notice. They didn't know the unseen. But the guy is in the front of them dead. But the spirit do not know the unseen. Are you there in IJ? <laughs> this is your Quran translation? The genie became a spirit? 
and the spirit did not notice that Suleiman is dead for a year? And they notice only when the termite, they ate his steak? Hey, AJ, I advise you to change your steak. Never use wood one. Go to Home Depot and get something made from solid metal, which will not rust or be eaten by termite. Termite is the enemy of Allah. So the word genie is a spirit. Is it the Quran says that the jinn is made from fire? How it is a spirit? And this is the clear Quran, which is his choice. I can tell that this person is suffering already. Soon he will have epilepsy, like Muhammad. Because wherever he go, he will find himself in this ability. It's not your fault, AJ. You are talking to Christian Prince humbly. None of you is matched to me, not even your God, Allah. Right? And look, he's saying, he's saying contradiction for the tr translation. I. It is my problem that there is a contradiction for translation and even the translation you chose for us it says us it says it your god allah will marry a goat he called it it because women are not it and your translation says us this is the whole point we want to know who's us he will take it from us is us, is Allah, is a physical object? So why he say it and us? We will take it from us. He did not say we'll take her. He did not say we'll take him. He said we'll take it from us. Allah is an idol then. And this is your translation, the one you like me to show in the screen. Kabich? I want to talk, but we need to bring clear Quran, not the other version. I just showed you the clear Quran. What's wrong with you, AJ? I just showed the clear Quran. The clear Quran says us. If Allah is one in the clear Quran, why people don't want to see, why people don't want to listen to themselves? In the clear Quran, it says us. I mean, how in the world this is clear Quran and we do not know what he meant by us and what it and what is the amusement? And this is a clear Quran? This is after it became clear. So how it was before it was clear? <laughs> clear Quran, my friend. Unbelievable. This is how clear it is. It is extremely clear. I mean, who can beat such a clear Quran? Are you serious? The clear Quran is what the scholars use? So, so the Muslims all this time, they, they were not using the, the, the Arabic Quran, they are using the clear Quran English. Guys, Muslim scholars don't use the Arabic Quran no more. They use the clear Quran. And I just said to you, I want to use the clear Quran. I have no problem. But your clear Quran says us. So what we will do now? <laughs> the whole point of me showing you the stupid verse is your God saying he will take it from us. Us who? You are very cute. So now you change the debate from the word us to about two translation who care choose anyone you are the one who chose the three clear quran and we are laughing this is your clear quran again we could have found that within us do you see the word within 
within that means something from inside not outside uh, inside what inside Allah this is your translation this is the clear Quran Amar Rabbi Amon your clear Quran not the bad Quran <laughs> <laughs> within us this is even more horrible how Allah will choose the amusement within us any Muslim can explain take a note this is the most clear Quran within us Allah will open his stomach and he will get the amusement from there us who Are you there, AJ? When your Quran says within and us, how we can fix that? You try to fix it, you make it more blind. Yeah, I never heard of a clear Quran. This is the first time. And who cares if I heard it or not? For me, I open this website always, and they don't have it there, so I don't use it. However, all of them, they are garbage for me. All of them. Do we have any Abdul? AJ, please post in the chat, not here, because I cannot look in two places in the same time. I'm not a genie. I am not a genie. According to your clear Quran, the genie is a spirit. Go and ask anyone, is a genie is a spirit, they will laugh at you. Spirit, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it must be spirit. The clear Quran. Let's have fun with this clear Quran. Thank you for informing us about this clear Quran so we can laugh at it, you know, beside other books, translation. So let us go to chapter 13, verse number 13 in the clear Quran, just for fun. Allah, he sent the thunderbolts striking whoever he wills so muslims why you put a thunderbolt protection in the top of the kaaba and in the top of the house or the grave of your prophet this is your clear quran why you muslims you use the western thunderbolt cables and protection in the top of the Kaaba, in the top of the grave of Muhammad. If Allah strike only whoever he wills. And this is the clear Quran. Any Muslim can answer? The reason, very simple, the Kaaba always struck by Thunderbolt and destroyed many times. But the Quran says this is a penalty, it's not just a natural thing. Is Allah hitting his own Kaaba? Are you? saying to me that your God is hitting his Kaaba? What a funny religion. Do we have any Muslim? And by the way, if you go read the interpretation for 1313, you will see that Allah 
saying that the angel, that the thunder is an angel, and he is in charge of the cloud. And he lead the cloud from place to place, and they asked the prophet, what about the, the fire we see? He says, this is his fire belt, he beat the cloud with it. And there's 70,000 angels in the right side, another 70 in the left side. So when he moved his fire belt, the first 70, they praise Allah. When he moved his belt again, the other 70, they praise Allah, and you can open the interpretation and read. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Anybody? <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? How many Muslims will leave Islam today after witnessing the disability of the cult of Muhammad? How silly, how stupid it is, and how perverted Muhammad is. You know, the Quran says, a verse which I like, actually. But always the Quran, because it's stupid, and Muhammad is stupid, he comes with things which he could not provide himself. Each time somebody says to him something, he said to him, bring me your proof chapter 2 verse number 111 says no one will enter heaven except jews and christian he said to them bring me your proof if you are truthful okay did you give our proof the proof to you muhammad that only Muslims will go to heaven? You said the opposite after a few few weeks. You said the Christians and the Jews, they will go to heaven. And you added the Sabian. Give us your proof. When Allah, he said to the angels, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. And then Allah is the one who gave the names. He is the one who named the names. How that can prove that Allah, he knew? This is a very stupid cult. No, I did not hang up on him because he's a liar. I hang up on him because he's a kid. I give you time to prove to, you, to yourself and to the others that you are an adult, mature person. Each time this guy, he mentions something, I get him busted with it, he won't change the topic. He said the name calling, I said uh, uh, potato. He says, why you say potato? It's not nice, you should respect. The second we showed him what his prophet, he said to us. Secondly, he went, you know, right away, he won't change the topic, he won't fly. So we want people who have mature brain uh, the Christian in the time of Jesus did not believe that Jesus is God uh, uh, Harun you are just as stupid like your prophet because your Quran says that Jesus according to the Christians he is God the Christians say so again you are a certified idiot I'm not sure if those Muslims who come here they are paid by Christian prince to say stupid things, so Islam will look stupid more than it is stupid. But this is what it looked like. Maybe they are paid by Christian prince. The Christian at that time of Muhammad did not believe Jesus is God. So why you stupid Quran says the Christian they are kuffar when they say that Jesus is God. And even they say he is son of God. Which is a contradiction, by the way, because which one? Not only they say he is God, by the way, it says he is Allah. If a Messiah is Allah, according to the Christians, So who is the son of God? Because remember, Allah will be a person, a name of a person, a unique name, right? That's what the Muslim they say. Then when the stupid Muhammad says that the, the Christian they say the Messiah is Allah. So who is the son of Allah according to the Messiah? according to the Christians. Here we go, the first one we got, 
the Messiah, the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah. <laughs> then how the Messiah is Allah and he is the son of Allah in the same time? Additional proof that the one who wrote the Quran is a certified idiot. We Christian, we don't believe that Jesus is the father. We don't. Son of God. So when the when Muhammad he says that the Christians say that the Messiah is Allah, and then in different verse he says the you know the Christian they say that the Messiah is son of Allah. This is why if you read the, the Quran, you will find that Allah don't even know the Trinity. He think that we Christian we worship a God who have sex with women, her name is Mary. Obviously, he's his wife, and they have a son, his name is Isa. I think what happened, Allah, he lost his, his stock in the stock market, and since then he went crazy. And look here, it says, Fain they would they extinguish Allah light with their mouth, but Allah will not allow, but he, he uh, his light should be perfected even through the unbelievers made it as well. We are the light of Allah. I want to see it, Muslims. Did Muhammad see the light of Allah when his mother, she gave birth to him and the light came from her vagina, went all the way to Damascus and nobody witnessed that? Maybe the light of Allah appeared to Muhammad when he went his own son and he flirted with the wife based on the light of Allah. She was in the dark room, but the light of Allah, he made him see her naked. And then he could not hesitate to flirt with his own son wife. The light of Allah, nobody can extinguish it. Convince me to leave Islam using the clear Quran. I just did. I just asked you when the Quran, the clear Quran says us, what us? Within us. Was that your clear Quran? Are you a kid? Are you a kid or what? Shall I call him again, guys? Just give him a... But he would do the same. Each time you talk to him, he will change the topic in a speed of life. I'm to give you, I'm going to give you one more call. And I will ask you a question based in the clear Quran. What do you think, people? Let us do that. If you change topic, I will never call you again. Hey, CP. All right, AJ. I want you to open for me chapter 2, verse 29 in the clear Quran. Oh, CP, hello. I'm not going to change the topic again. And I, I'm not a kid. I am just okay, a friend, human being to, trying to... Let us not to waste time. To, let us not to waste trying, time. I don't want to waste time, my friend. Okay, open for me chapter 2, verse 29 in the clear Quran. Okay, chapter 2. Hmm. The heifer, al-Baqarah. Yes. The cow. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, verse 29 is... Uh -huh. Let's see. This is good, CP. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, even though your audience calls me names. That's not nice. No, I mean, I, who's they, the child? Children don't, don't call okay, names. Hold on, okay? hold on, hold on. Okay, no problem, yeah. no problem. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, go. go. Tell me what. what uh, okay. okay, verse 29. And please have it up for the audience. I'd really like them to see okay, if I'm you don't mind. I'm showing the screen. Yeah. They can see it, my friend. They can see it. Okay, they can see it. So it says here, and this is good because I'm not a scholar of the Quran, but I'd like for people to tell me that the Quran is not true. So you're doing good. Okay. It is he who created for you everything on earth. So when it says he in capitalized, that's referring like from a, like God, Allah, which is the same word. Mm. It is God who created for you everything on earth. Uh, I agree. And then turn to the heaven mm. and made them seven heavens. Okay. So this verse. Yeah. Explain this verse to me, based on your understanding. Well, I, I'm not a scholar, CP. I, I'm only, My like, friend, this verse to it's, me. It's a clear so, Quran. The, it's a clear Quran. You don't need to scholar. Is. It is a clear Quran. So the clear Quran will make it clear for you. Go ahead. Tell me what you understand. From what I understand, this is just a verse that says that God created, you know, everything on earth. Okay. And then made the seven heavens. All and right. God is so aware did, of all did things. You just say, did you say then, then, and then? I mean, <laughs> semantics, CP, uh, turn to, yeah, I mean. 
Yeah. How is that? Like, okay, what is be, your be claim brave, about brave. this? Uh, what, what, what's wrong? I am. Then, yeah, okay, does it say then, then he turned to heaven? Which means which one Allah he finished first, the earth or the heaven? Everything on earth and uh, then turn to I the heaven. I don't understand you. Sorry. Say again. Yeah, I'm trying to read and see. I don't uh, have a. I don't have. What is your claim on this? Because I don't Here have a go. judgment. My on friend, this. the verse in front of you, or what I'm asking you, which Allah created first, finished first, the earth is heaven or the heaven? The verse is clear. This is the clear Quran. Yeah. Okay. Based on the clear Quran, how clear it is, which one Allah created first, finished first, the earth or the heaven? Uh, I would assume that. Don't assume. Don't assume. I want a full understanding. Please take your time. I don't want yeah, to sure. just assume. Take your time. This is this is a book of God, supposedly. I don't, we don't assume. It's a lot of pressure because I'm not a scholar, yeah, but I would no, say. No problem. As I was assuming. Quran, okay. This is the real Quran. We'll make it. <laughs> yeah. So what's clear to me from the clear Quran mm -hmm. is that God created everything on earth, mm -hmm. then turned to the to the heaven. Okay. And made the seven heavens. So, which one Allah finished first? I would say, uh, I guess, Earth. That's my assumption. All right, that's wonderful. Thank you, clear Quran. I appreciate the clear Quran a lot. You know, I will try to use it from now on a lot. You know, because it's clear Quran. All right, I want you to go in the clear Quran to chapter seventy-nine and read for me from, uh, let us say. Uh, Verse, uh, let's see, let us see from verse number, verse number 27. Okay, uh, it says, so verse number 27 says, Are you the more difficult to create or the heaven? Okay. He constructed it. Um, but the verse 26 before that says, in this lesson for whoever fears, no problem. This are you the, more different? But still, this is the creation. The creation starts from number 27. So start from there, please. Okay. Are you more difficult to create or the heaven? Okay. Continue. He constructed it. Right. He raised its masses and okay. proportioned it. Okay. So it doesn't continue, really continue. like give you a... Continue, it doesn't continue, on that continue, continue, please continue. Okay. He raised its masses okay. and proportioned it. Okay. And he dimmed its night and brought out its daylight. Okay. And the earth after that he spread. <laughs> and then after that he produced water and pasture. And after that he created the mountain. This is the clear Quran. Yeah, so but wh it, where's your I don't I get what I mean. I think you're right, but maybe can you explain what your why you think? My friend, this is, the first chapter uh, I gave contradiction? you, the first chapter you, I gave you, you said to me, I asked you to answer carefully, which one Allah finished first? You said, well, obviously the earth, correct? Mm -hmm. Here is the opposite. The first thing Where? Allah He finished, it was the sky. He made them seven sky, and then He brought the night and the day. So those are the lamps, the stars, and then after that He start working in the earth. And after that, he produced the water and the pasture. And after that, he put the mountains. But in chapter 2, verse 29, Allah, he created everything on earth. And then he went to heaven. And then he says, made them seven heaven. And then he finished the heaven. No, but like I read it when I read chapter uh, verse 30. Do you have, yeah, right here. Uh, not this one, but. Can you go to the other uh, story you're talking about? Because okay. in that one, it says, and the earth after that he spread. Mm -hmm. It didn't say like the heavens came first. Where did I say is read carefully. Here we go. What is Allah I am, uh, did? Okay. What Allah he did. Here we go. He created. Uh, is it difficult more to create or the heaven? He made, he raised it above, okay, and he made the proportion for it. And then he did the night and the day, which means create the lamps. And then after that, he starts working in the earth, right? Well, I think it says, and the earth after that he spread, okay. and from it he produced water okay. and pasture. Okay, but, but, in, that's... but in chapter 2, verse 29, I asked you, which Allah he finished first? You said the earth. But that's an assumption. I, this one to me right what here. What assumption? What assumption? This is God. You, you say, I when, know. When you said to me, as I assume, I said to you, don't assume. 
Do you remember? Okay, then said, but let me, you, but let's go, the can you show the other? Because this is the clear Quran. So the clear Quran now saying that your God, he finished everything in earth. Does it say here in the clear Quran, everything in the earth? Uh, yeah, he, he created for you everything on earth. Everything. And then okay, what everything turn mean? into that. What everything is mean everything. It's a click wrong. Come on. Everything. Okay. No, that's true. You're right. Okay, okay, what about if you go to the next verse, that one you told me, chapter, the next chapter, which is uh, the one that you were 79. Yeah. So when you go to that one, how is that contradicting this one? That That's what I don't see. Because simply, the earth in the verse number 229, Allah created everything in the earth, and then he went to the sky, and the sky, he made the sky seven skies. So there was the seven light, heavens. Seven yeah. heavens. So he made oh. seven heavens, and then he brought the light, and he made everything in the heaven, whatever in heaven. So the earth is finished totally first, and then after that, Allah, he went to the sky. But in chapter 79, Allah uh -huh. finished everything in heaven, including the stars, the day and the night. He raised it above, but, and then. But heaven is not that, the day and the night. Heaven is heaven is what is not the day and the night, right? My friend, he said he brought the light. Don't you read? Don't you know how to read? Yeah, I do. You're okay. right. It says so brought out when you say daylight. He did the light. That means he made the stars, the sun, etc. Right? So it's clear that this is a contradiction, and not only that, we are not done. Are you ready? Here we go. Let us go to chapter in the same clear Quran. We will not use any Quran except the clear Quran. Okay, I love sure. it. Yeah. You know, I'm going to make a frame for it in my bedroom. I, every morning I wake up, I see the clear Quran. I like the clear Quran. So here we go. Okay. This is a chapter 41. Uh -huh. And let us read together. I don't know if the, if the if text is coming to you clear. Is it clear? Uh, yeah, I see it. All right. Uh, it says here. Do you reject the one who created the earth in two days and you attribute equal to him that is the Lord of the universe? He placed, stabilized over it. This is the mountain, by the way. We use the word stabilized. What is the mountain? I don't know. It's gone. And he placed, uh, placed, uh, placed it and he planned its provision in four days equal to the seekers. Then Listen carefully. Then he turned to the sky, and it was a smoke, and said to it, and to the earth, come willingly and unwillingly. And then he completed them in seven heaven in two days. He assigned each universe its law, and we decorated the lower universe with lamps. And for protection that is the design of the almighty or not so here we find totally the opposite from 79 again because here Allah he created everything in the top of the earth this is in total agreement with chapter 2 verse 29 so he made the earth in two days then he placed mountains in the top of it stabilizer is the mountain supposedly this is fast translation you can mm -hmm. see the word mountain there. And then it says, and he blessed the earth, which means he gave us a provision like water, trees, etc. And then he turned to the sky and the sky was a smoke, which means was nothing. And then he completed the seven heaven. And then he decorated the heaven with the stars. So the last thing was creating the stars. In chapter 41, look what happened in the clear Quran. I love you, clear Quran. How are you doing, clear Quran? From now on, you are my is, soldier. Here we go. Is is the universe here referring to uh, the, the sky? What is sky, it referring? Sky. There's no universe. This is a stupid translation. Universe. There's no universe. It's a but, lower heaven. Lower heaven. Sky. Yeah. yeah. So is this talking about heaven? Heaven is yes. different, right? Yeah. Heaven. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, heaven here is the, there's no heaven actually. It is a sky. Sky. So like the yeah like the sky seven, the universe seven sky the, seven sky. the Quran okay. never here use the word heaven but the Muslim use it. What right. was the smoke that was referred to? Smoke, on, on this is a smoke was coming from the earth because Allah was cooking the earth. And you can open Ibn Kathir and you can read it. So there was nothing. The sky is empty. Cooking the earth? Okay. Yeah, Allah was cooking the earth because the smoke is coming from the earth according mm -hmm. to Ibn Kathir. So the sky was a yeah. smoke. Totally there's no, there's no nothing. And then Allah, he made the sky, seven sky. And then the last thing he did, he created the stars. If we go back to chapter 79, you will mm -hmm. see it is totally the opposite in the order. First, Allah, he created the sky. He made the heaven, according to your translation, see? Just to show you how they lie. 
How the mm -hmm. word here appear as heaven and the word here mm -hmm. appear as universe when it's the same word in Arabic. This is how liar they are. Heaven, universe. Heaven, universe. <laughs> There's a huge difference between universe and heaven. Mm -hmm. And then, are you difficult to create or the heaven he constructed? He raised it in mass, etc. And then he dimmed the light and the day. Okay, and then after that, he spread the earth. And after that, he put the water. But here is the opposite. My friend, A.G., mm -hmm. I trust that you are a decent man and you are a growing, okay. mature, smart person. I advise you to leave Islam right now. The Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, mm -hmm. you shall find a contradiction. Your God says that, not me. This is a clear contradiction like the sun, like the clear Quran. Clear contradiction. What say you? Well, this is, I'll tell you that if you found this to be a contradiction, uh, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. I, maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. I don't know. No, but this no, is no, not enough. See, this is what you do. You never give me an answer. Is it? Is it a clear contradiction? Or uh, not? Yes, it's a clear contradiction. Okay, yes. thank you very much. So our friend AJ agree that this is an amazing clear contradiction. Mm -hmm. But isn't it the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find contradiction in it? Hmm. Yeah, I think, I mean, like, I, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that it is a contradiction, but that no, no, still is not enough. I agree. You don't give me the benefit. I know, but you. CP, let me finish you talking. No, this friend, is... My friend, don't give me the benefit of the doubt. You agreed. You said, I agree. I think we are conf Okay, if you want to know, like, what I feel right now is that no, you said it already, seems... You said already you agreed. There's a contradiction. You said that already. Yes, okay. I said this seems okay. like a contradiction, so long, and it, it may long, be a contradiction. I give you as that. Long, okay. As long there is a contradiction, the Quran in chapter four, verse number eighty-two says, mm -hmm. "If this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction in it, or you will find contradiction in it." Let us go to chapter. Yeah, four. I think Annie Chung, the one of Ann Chung, somebody on the chat, they're talking about Forget like about come the to chat. Jesus. Focus with me, no, no, Focus with I know, me, I am focusing Focus on you, me, but I keep... no, no, I don't want the chat. Please, I will disable the chat just for for the, for your sake. I'm trying to save you, my friend. Please. Okay. Here okay. it says, in the in the in the Quran, chapter four, verse number eighty-two, and I'm going to open for you the clear Quran, not any Quran, the one you like, based on your choice. Do they not bounder the Quran? Had this is been, actually good. What you did, been, CP, was good. Can you find me another one like this and find many I more find if they are? Hands. All of them, they are contradiction, but let's focus one. I think you're pretty but, working. Don't they pounder the Quran? No, Had it been from other than any than God, they would have found in it much disparency, which means contradictions. This is your Quran translation. This is good, CP. You've done well. If you could find me one that's relevant to, like, because, like, I, I hear that it, this is a contradiction, but it's so confusing about heaven, earth. It doesn't really matter to me as much as the contradictions about what should I believe in, how should I act, uh, what are, you know, those things are more important than whether the heaven or heavens was first. Yeah, if that's a contradiction and you think that I should refute the, the Quran totally, um, the reason it's hard to is because this is a very, like, sort of, unimportant thing to me and what's important. more this is an important thing to you it is because do, are you saying so the bible doesn't have any contradictions me, hold on, hold on. no wait does no, the bible this, have this any contradiction you do this is how you do you escape so you are saying to me that there is a god he don't remember which one he created first and this is not important for you no no it's if it's a contradiction i it's not if i will no more it's not if no more you agreed it is contradiction I said I will assume and give you the benefit no, no, of the you, doubt. You say you is. are not being honest again. It's recorded, my friend. It's recorded. You said yes, I agree. It's, it's contradiction. You said that. I know, but please don't straw man. Just try to talk. Like Take care. I'm not here to try to talk. You are just a kid. A man who don't honor what he say, he is no man for me. I blocked you. It's recorded. You said I agree. It is a contradiction. All the people here are my witnesses. And now I will show you a second contradiction and you will ask me for more. And I will show you a third contradiction and still it's... A, so you are a person trying to escape. The first excuse we want to use the clear Quran. So we jump like monkeys to the clear Quran. And now in the clear Quran we found a clear contradiction and you agreed. Less than 30, not even two minutes after you took back what you said. Trying to say I did not say that. It's recorded. 
everything we said here is life on air is going to stay on air. I can find you tons of contradictions. But this is the easiest one. I never heard of a God. He don't remember what he did first. We are talking about creation of the world. We are not talking about making cake. He put eggs first or flour. Maybe he add the sugar after the eggs. That will not make any difference. But we are talking about how he created the world. And this is a God who cannot repeat the story twice accurately. And now I will, the, the Christian press, he have to give him more contradiction. Who care? Your God says if it's one, it is one contradiction. If you find, how come they cannot bound up the Quran? Had it been made by other than God, you will find the contradiction in it. Very simple. That's it. And now if I find the second one, the third one, the fourth one, you will jump like a monkey. You are not being honest. However, your call is very useful for us. We are grateful to have you, my friend, even if you are trying to lie. For now, millions of people will watch it and they will see the Muslims cannot defeat the truth. Not a Christian prince. Who cares about Christian prince? I'm nobody. The truth, my friend, will set you free, Jesus said. I am the truth, and the truth will set you free. The truth of Jesus is coming and Islam is being conquered and defeat and Satan he is hiding in his shameful cave. He don't dare to come to us. You are brave to debate those who know nothing about your stupid garbage Islam. In front of me all of you are a bunch of midget. And it's not about the size of a body, it's about the size of a brain. Your midget God, Mr. Afrit, is a genie in the ball in the front of me. And I prove it every day. And I am a Christian prince, and I approve this message. Do we have any Muslim? Who is next? Who is next? Who is willing to face tsunami? Your God, Allah Himself, don't dare. Even if he have corners, I will make him square. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him.
Next, who is next? Who is next would like us to save him from the garbage of Muhammad? Who is next? Who would like to call his scholar, his sheikh, and put him life on air with me? And you sit and you watch. Who is the Ustad? The Ustad who dare to call me or to let me call him? Where is the Ustad of Indonesia? Are they sleeping because of the too much shish kebab they are eating from the back and the shoulders of the poor Muslims? Ustaz. What he do for a living? Ustaz. Can you say your prophet name correctly? I am Ustaz. Can you explain to us? And I'm Ustaz. The religion of Ustad. Everybody is Ustad. And the Ustad agree that nobody knows what this is mean save Allah. The Ustad they gather together. And they come with the conclusion, Allah knows best. Because we are Ustaz. And the Quran says, and the best of the Ustaz who says, Allah only knows. Genius. Do we have any Ustad so we can hang him in our Christmas tree? As we will not hang him literally, we will hang him like a little, we will take a picture of you, we will make like a statues for you, I will hang it like a Papa Noel. Because all of you, you are Papa Noel. Priceless gift from God. Is it Allah who sent you to explain Islam? Where are you? Look at the Ustaz. Priceless Ustaz. Peaceful faces. The, feast, the, 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 the peace of Allah is dropping. The guidance of Allah is shining. Do we have any Ustaz? May they, may they. Ustaz is needed. Ustaz for hire. Or get out of the fire. I don't know what those pictures is. What is that? Those people, they published pictures of their wives. You have only one wife? But what's wrong with you? What do you do with the money you have? Only one wife? What the heck? Those stars, I think women in Indonesia, maybe they are scaring those stars and they are afraid to marry second wife. Look like uh, stars. In, look at this picture. What is that? All of those are stars. Like, what the heck? Look like the whole country became stars. This is the business of the one who have no business. What do you do for living? Most stars. Look what? Stars. Do the, the most stars. Okay, what do you, oh, I'm Ustaz. Okay, why your hand is up, I'm Ustaz. Why you don't, uh, I'm Ustaz. Can you debate Christian, I'm, uh, I'm Ustaz. Anyone? The last Ustaz, he tried to refute me and he offered me five BMW. The result of trying to argue with me he had a heart attack and he died literally 
Ustaz Insane, or sorry, Insan. Christian Prince, I'm going to offer you, Christian Prince, five BMW if you can answer those questions. And you know, Christian Prince, like, we well, have no idea what to do now. Like, five BMW, what about one? I mean, my car is so old, man. Five? Mean. I wish that Muslims they call me each time. Each time they lose, I get five BMW. Five BMW. Christian Prince. By the way, isn't this his voice? I have a very, I have a very good talent in making voices. You know, <laughs> Christian Prince. <laughs> but for sure, the best of stars. Christian Prince, I told you, my name is Zachary Naik and you know it. Hey, Zachary Naik, take it easy. The Muslims, they keep saying that it's not you who's calling me always. They say it's a fake Zachary Naik. We need to show them in the camera. You are here next to me and can you please open the camera so we can... Christian Prince, how I'm next to you, I'm going to open the camera. You got better tip. Because if I'm next to you, then you open the camera and then we'll be able to see. And I know, everybody knows that it's the name of the thing that to me. Okay, hold on, I did not understand anything. What you said? You said that you want them to know me if I open the camera. But if I am next to you, you open the camera and then you can see me. Listen, Brent, you are lying. Uh, uh, okay, Zach, uh, sorry. I, yeah. I, I will act like now like AJ. I will take it back. Any Muslim? And don't forget the ad of Zakir Naik. He is asking the Muslims to subscribe to his his son because he's looking for a wife. Man, I never thought about this. How many subscriptions I will get more if I say I'm looking for a wife now? Man, he Indonesian people announced to Indonesian women all over Indonesia, specifically Muslims. I'm looking for a wife. Let us get more subscriptions. That's deep. That's really deep. Mm -hmm. So do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Papa, Mama? Papa, Mom, Mayab? I know Indonesian, by the way, but I am humbly, I try not to speak it because I don't want people to know how many languages I speak. I am like Al-Hussein, I speak 70 million languages. I mean, you Shia, don't you think you are exaggerating about how many languages he speak? Aren't you sure it's not like 69,999,999,999 language? 70 million? I mean, 70 million? Okay. I mean, the guy, he speaks 70 million languages. I mean, what you can do about it? It's normal. It's everybody do that, you know? I don't know. If, do, do we have even 70 million languages in this earth? Oh, boy. Any Mohammedan? Our Skype is open. And we are waiting for the Ustaz. Look at the, look at those Ustaz. Look at them. Man. You know, I, I saw an article about one of them. I think the one who's uh, wearing the zebra uh, around his dress. Uh, it says he take five thousand dollars for every speech he make. Hey Christians, poor me. How many hours now? I'm here every day. Five thousand dollars. They he will not talk unless they pay him five thousand dollars with hotel food. Airplane. Oh boy. That's a great business. This is the biggest business, actually. $5,000 to make a speech. Why? Are you laying eggs made of gold? What do you say in your speech? You let me know. Any Abdul? You know, by the way, I did not tell you the secret. I'm, I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan, originally from Indonesia. In case you're asking, I'm wondering, you know? Yeah. And the proof I am from Indonesia, I like rice. 
I mean, how come my proof is not enough for you and Allah gave nothing about proving himself to be God? At least rice is real. Not like big boobs, I mean, well, the God who promised me big boobs. Are they going to fly by themselves? Like you go to the bedroom, you fly, you see flying boobs. It's like a spaceship, boobs. Do they have nipples or there's no nipples? Because there's no milk there. I mean, what we will drink milk from the river. So why they would have nipples anyway? Doesn't make sense. I think Allah will take the nipples away. I think there will be boobs with no nipples. Otherwise, that will be a lot of nipplings. You know, those women, they have, I mean, you have a lot of women and all of them have nipples. That will be a nippling land. You know? And that, this is really weird. I mean, you go to your house and there's nipple everywhere. Like, you know, they are flying alone by themselves, by the way. There's no women. Just, it says just, it says boobs. It doesn't say women. It says, but in the translation, they say boobs. Aren't you going to get scared? What if you enter the house and it was dark and suddenly a boob hit your face? Especially if the nipples like they have like ding that go in your eye. I think you have to wear glasses. Nipples. Kawaibun atraba. I'm God. I give you nipples. Big boobs. Don't you like big boobs? I will give you big boobs. Oh, you like small one? Okay, I will change the verse. I will give you very small, tiny boobs. Uh, you must be, you must be Mr. Bean. That's why you like them small. You are afraid of them sizes. Mm, okay, Mr. Bean. He became a Muslim, which is a fraud for sure. Even the Muslim, by the way, they make Mr. Bean become a Muslim, but he's not. Uh, he became a Muslim, and now he is complaining about the big boobs. He's scared. Nibbling. Hmm. Any Abdul? Who is here for the first time? If you are here for the first time, I feel sorry for you. You will become addicted. And now you need to go to the hospital to fight addiction. Somebody sending me a link saying, please react to this girl. My friend, I don't do those stuff. You react to them. Here we hit the, st the, sh the shaitan. Don't send me such a links. I don't open links in, in Skype. Please react to this girl. Eh. React to this girl. Don't waste your time with this girl and that boy. Hit the head of the snake. That would hurt. That what hurt. You go after people who have no idea what they are talking about. Don't waste your time. So, you follow me for a few years. That's what I'm saying, Marco. Always it started with the first time. And then you follow me for years. And then your wife, she will complain. And then your wife, she will call you, to, she will call the Sharia law court. And she will say, my husband is, is staying in the chat room of Christian Prince more than he's there with me. Be careful. I'm warning you. And actually, I don't know if those people come in here because they like to hear me or because they like the big boobs. I'm not sure, especially those who like to drink. Look, and the cup full to the brim. You know what? I was worried that the cup is not full to the brim. I was really worried that Allah is cheap. Look at the details. A cup full to the brim. Amazing. This, this, is, this is how God act. This is how God teach. He will give you a cup full to the brim. Not like those you go in the restaurant, they order juice, they give you half of it empty. It's full to the brim. Who can be that? Anyone here, he can explain to us why it's full to the brim. Is that the last drink you would drink in your life? If it's not, why it is full to the brim? What that will do exactly? 
full to the brim 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 that's so deep man all my life I wanted to have a book cup for the brim I'm sick of it. You go everywhere. You even water. They bring you the water is not full to the brim. Now finally, we have cups full to the brim. And not only that, this God will give us couches. We dream as Arab people to have couches. We live in the desert. There's no couches. This is for the Roman and the Persian. And not only that, cushions. We are going to have cushions first time ever. Thank you, Allah, for promising us cushions. Who can resist a heaven? have a couch and look at the translation each one of them he give you different translation they will recline on carpet like what happened to the couch carpet now again we are on the floor again i thought already we have uh, we are going to be in the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the the, the uh, sofa they will recline on the carpet with inner lining with B bitch bit no sorry that bitch sorry rich it's a it's a it's a it's an error of a pronunciation not bitch it was rich to be rich not be to be rich okay be rich brocade what you said I will be in heaven and I will recline on the carpet. You can't be serious. Me, I will be laying down on a carpet. That's deep. I have a question. Is that the same carpet which was full of lies the prophet used to have around him? This is God promises. That's too much. I cannot handle it. You know, this is too much. He's just pouring us, man. And the brother. Brother, I have a Zora prize for you. In that heaven, brother, after you lay down in the carpet, are you ready for the coming Zora prize? Look, we just changed the translation. The carpet disappeared. It became couches. Unbelievable. We just changed the translator. It's not reclining on a, car, in a, in a in a carpet no more. It's couches, and then he says, "Where in both will be those median restraining in their garlands upon their husband, whom no man <laughs> he open what like what he open." Don't you think this is too much details, Allah? Nobody opened that place yet. So now if I go there and... <coughs> if you are over the age, uh, under the age of six, please leave. Because Aisha, she was mature at the age of six, according to Muslims. So if I go now and like I want to do business there, it's not open yet. None? Not even a genie? I mean, why genie? What, what the genie will be doing there? Not only human did not open it, even genie did not open it too. Look like genies, they are doing a lot of work as we speak. Mm, now I know. <laughs> Women, they lie to us. They say they are saving themselves for the right man. In fact, they are saving themselves to the right genie. Genie bikini, unbelievable. 
So now you are in the couch, reclining or in the carpet, wearing silk made from a green in Iran. Green silk made in Iran, Persian. And now you enter your house and there is women who they are jailed. They can't even leave the house, which is a tent, by the way. And those women, why they are jailed? Because they are hookers. The second you open the door, they will sleep with everybody. So what Allah do? He said, restraining in their gallants. They have restrained order from Allah because those women are so horny. The second you open the door or the window, they will jump on men. Watch for yourself. And now we will find somebody saying to us, I don't agree with this translation. Show me the clear Quran. Ho, 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 ho. This is God and this is his book. Women, they are jailed in their houses and the God described to us their vagina situation. I'm so glad that Allah don't work in weather news agency because it look like he will speak about vagina no matter where he go. He might say it's going to rain there or maybe stormy, or there's a lot of hair. Or maybe he will mention that there is a tsunami gushing forth. So thanks to Allah that he is not in charge of weather news in Fox News. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Do we have any Muslim? And then after we finish, the Muslim, they will leave comments saying, he is a liar. Everything we show is in the screen in their book, their translation. He is a liar. Hmm. Now, I want you people to do me a favor. After we finish, please don't say, God bless you, Christian Prince. Thank you very much, Christian Prince. I really appreciate those words. But there's something more important. You can say them if you want, but say something you, something move you about what we spend the time here together. Don't tell me from all the time we are together now, all the Muslims, they call us. You just remember to say, thank you, Christian Prince. I want you to leave a comment about conversation happening between me and Muslims. About the guy who, you know, who left Islam from Germany. I want you to be part of what we do, not only here in the chat. After we finish the video, Please make a comment. It's a shameful thing. There's there's 30,000 view and there's 300 comment. That's me from every 1,000. There's one person he uses a brain and decide to say something. And in case you do not know, the more comment you post, the more view and YouTube will recommend our videos to others. So it's a win-win. It's not just a waste of talk. You put your input, you give your opinion, you use your brain from what you heard and share. Let us see how smart you are. I am sure a lot of you is very smart, even smarter than Zakir Naik. Brother Tita, Christian Prince, he said even smarter than Christian Prince. Uh, Zakir Naik, Ellen says even smarter than Christian Prince, I said even smarter than Zakir Naik. Christian Prince, I heard you, you said even smarter than Christian Prince, with me all of them are smarter than you, and I get you, but I said, Zakir Naik, I said even smarter than Zakir Naik. Christian Prince, first of all, I am the most smart person in Pakistan. Uh, Zakir Naik, you are not from Pakistan, as I know. Exactly. Okay. So why you are the most smart person in Pakistan? From Pakistan. Christian Prince, is Allah he said that Allah is the bit of the creator? Uh, exactly. So uh, what does that mean, Zakir Nay? I'll say to you. If Allah is the bit of the creator, and he is the only creator, that means I can say I am the best smarter between the people of Pakistan because I'm not from Pakistan. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. 
Allah is the best of the creators. But Muslims, if there is any creators beside Allah, they say no. So how he is the best of the creators? Allah make him poo poo. Muhammad, he heard a man saying, praise be to Allah, the best of the creators. He took it, he put it in the Quran as he heard it. The poo poo of Muhammad. The best of the creators. In the world, you are the only God and you are the best of the creators. Allah giving himself a raise, claiming that he been hired and he got a higher rank than other creators. Maybe he was talking about YouTube creators. Mm, that is true. He is the best of the creators. With this, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to download the videos. You can cut them pieces. As an example, make a topic from a topic we mentioned. You do not need to post three posts, the whole video, one piece. And I advise you, by the way, don't use the same title for the video. So because then they will appear in one page, all of you. Based in the discussion, you can put the title of your choice. So cut it pieces, make it short. You can make even, actually, I wish there's some of you will make a videos of two minutes or three minutes of something I, like a Muslim, he put something in the, in the, in the chat. I take screenshot, I get him busted. That is a video by itself. Maybe like a minute or two videos. I would really appreciate to see that because that will help more to spread the news and the truth. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And the truth will set you free. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 